We've got a couple of special guests with us this week. We've got Ryan and we've got Lauren from the East Point Football Netball Club. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, Have thanks. You enjoyed coming here on a nice uh, wet Ballarat day? Yes, unlike Ballarat. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Ryan, guys, you've got, uh, you've got a massive day coming up this coming weekend. Uh, we've got the, uh, the nice new kits uh, specific, specifically for this uh, weekend. Um, tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, so um, yeah, this weekend we've got uh, the wellness round. So um, East are playing Redan down at the East Noval this weekend. And, um, yeah, we're sort of getting behind the cause of the wellness centre which uh, yeah, sort of really helps patients and carers of that to sort of take a bit of time to relax in that and some good facilities that are provided by the Wellness Centre to um, yeah, sort of get over the hard times. Excellent. And uh, Lauren, it must be great for the club to be involved in this as well. Yeah, it is. ASA are really proud to be a part of something like this. We've had a few personal experiences with the Wellness Centre and yeah, we've been a part of it for a couple of weeks now. Um, the footballers and some of the netballers went along to the Wellness Centre Ball just help out there and then on the weekend we'll have a few fundraisers to help out with it all. Sensational and uh, Ryan we've got uh, one of the guys as part of the club is also involved with uh, with the program too. Um, tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Yeah so we've, um, we've got David Parkin coming down um, on Saturday to sort of help out um, to sort of towards the seniors and reserves as well a bit of a pre-game speech and we've also got one of the former East Ballarat uh, junior players in James Frawley, who's playing for Hawthorne as well, um, coming down to talk to us and also a um, bit of a conference in that in the social rooms at halftime of the senior game. Fantastic. That uh, must be great to, to have some, some guys like uh, that sort of come along. And Lauren, I guess the profile of David Parkin in football is uh, fantastic to have around uh, and have him sort of speak because he's a very passionate kind of guy. Yeah, it should help the footy boys a lot. Yeah, it should uh, should sort of rev them up. So it's certainly going to be a great day. Um, so you guys will be having a, having the big home game here. What, what 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 sort of what sort of things will be encouraging people who will be getting along the game to to, to do? Um, so yeah, like obviously to just come down and support. I think we've got um, a bit of a luncheon going on in the social room. So even yeah, to just drop in, and I think they may have some donations going around on the day. So yeah, any donation will help, and it'll go a long way. Yeah, and obviously, Lauren, it's great for this uh, for the community as well, encouraging people to donate a bit yeah, generously, of course. Yeah, exactly. And also with the donations, there will also be socks being sold around the football ground. So they're just the wellness ones. And yeah, I think they're $15 a pair. So yeah, it should be good. Excellent, excellent. Well, it's certainly going to be a great day. Um, well, well, we've got you guys here as well. Uh, Lois, tell us a little bit about how uh, East Point have been going this year and a little bit about your form too. Um, how's um, it all shaping? Yeah, well, East of the team, like, we're going, we're going all right, that's for sure. Um, we've had a few ins and outs. We actually haven't played with a full team as of yet, so it's a bit hard on us, but we are coming back together. Injuries are seeming... They're going away, so yeah, be good once we have all the girls back together. And you're enjoying your time at Sovereigns as well, enjoying the experience of playing with uh, with some elite netballers in the region. Yeah, it's really great, learning a lot, and yeah, having Kim as a coach has been great as well. Fantastic, right? The uh, the boys are up and about. Their uh, finals are well and truly in the mix, especially with a win on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a slow start to the year, but um, yeah, we've turned things around, and yeah, really pushing for now a uh, top six spot to the end of the year. And how's your form going, mate? Oh yeah, can't complain too far, so mm-hmm. it's so much, um, yeah, it's keeping me in the team, so as long as I keep playing and yeah, hopefully we go towards finals and go deep into September. And yeah, you kept uh, Brendan Favola pretty quiet earlier on in the year when you had oh. a bit of a run on him, what was that like playing with the great man? <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah, didn't play on him for long, played on him for, yeah, 10 or so minutes, um, yeah, it was definitely a bit of an experience um, to play on, yeah, such a, a great footballer. Um, but yeah, I just sort of took it all in at the time and yeah, we got the win that day, which yeah, also helped. It's the most important thing. Thanks so much for joining us uh, today, guys. I know it's, uh, the weather isn't favourable and we appreciate you guys coming all the way out here and, uh, and showing your support. Well, it's going to be a fantastic day for the club on Saturday. No worries. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.